July 26, uh, 2021. I haven't been uh, on a solo backpacking trip in like six, seven years. So this is it. This is the one. We started off with this, doing the Wapi Provincial Park. Uh, turned it into a little pack rafting trip for uh, a little experiment to see how well it works. Uh, nothing crazy though. Take it easy with that. And uh, yeah, this is the trailhead for the, uh, it's called the Wapi Onion Lake Trail. You can find it on uh, all trails or Gaia GPS there. Anyways, it's uh, 9.15 a.m. It'll be Monday morning. Um, I'm ready to head out. Well, I'm just uh, taking shelter in here. These trees, camera around. Uh, at the falls, it started to rain on me, but it's kind of where my I, want, I plan on having lunch and carrying on. So, yeah, I get to have a nice, beautiful, rainy lunchtime. It's all good. It's beautiful. You have beautiful scenery. Thanks for that. It's actually really good right now. We got a lot of fire bands and all that, so it's really nice to see the rain coming. It's gonna make the river come up a bit though. But I gotta watch that. This Wapi Lake is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. This is my view tonight. There's my hammock. A little cooking system. I'm going to treat myself to some sweet and sour pork with rice and I'm going to double it up because I think I did a good job for an old man. Walking all the way in here, I'm going to have two. Kung Pao grilled chicken and uh, nibble on some beef jerky. <laughs> I really like that they have, I don't know if you can see them, but oh, maybe you can. Way over there you can see those metal bends. It's pretty neat. This little setup, you can uh, put all your, your cooking stuff and your food in there after you're done. So I did ask about Tuck Lake and they, basically what it comes down to is that there's not, a, not enough interest or foot traffic to do the trail. So they don't cut it. So, there's two, uh, two park guys here today, so, and another gentleman. I'm exhausted, so I'm sorry if I sound like I'm dying, but. Just enjoying that view, having some dinner. Have a good night for now. And well, there's going to be a chopper here tomorrow. Picking up the crew. And uh, well, eight or nine in the morning. I don't know. I'll probably sleep right through it. <laughs>
I'm sore. I'm really, really sore. Guys, uh, finally my pack raft, all packed up, ready to go. Uh, just leaving the cabin here. I don't know if you can see it there, Moppy Lake. This is a gorgeous lake. Look at this lake. <laughs> so it's a bit windy out there right now, so I'm just gonna stay to the shoreline here and make my way around. There's some things I want to see, and maybe I might drop a fishing line in there and fish this beautiful lake. Um, make my way over to the Moppy River there. Depending on time, I'm going to set up my uh, camp somewhere along the way there and, and do a little bit of hiking and portage and throw on out back to the truck. No, it's the first time I've ever fished out of a pack raft. But one of the reasons I bought this pack raft specifically was for this lake, Wapi Provincial Park. I'm on the Wapi Lake right now. You cannot get in here unless you have $2,000 an hour. I found that out this morning from the helicopter pilot. Or you can get $1,100 and you can get the small jet one. Uh, I can't remember the name of Bell 206, I think. You can get in here at that. But one of the reasons I bought this pack raft was so I could pack it in to remote areas. So I did the 19 kilometer, well, 19.3, I guess, kilometer hike into the cabin here. And now I'm getting to use it. I'm going to utilize it as part of my exit strategy. So even if I can't run the river because the water is low, and theoretically I am still a beginner, but. You know, I'm going to take things cautiously and be smart about it. Do what many of the folk have been teaching me a little bit. I've done some courses, some paddling courses. I've done some uh, hydrology learning and some pack raft learning and getting involved with the community, involved with that sort of stuff. So, you know, they teach you to be smart about it. I'm not going to go down to class five for sure. I have done, uh, I have got some beta back on the Wapiti. It can be pretty intense. But I think today, or right now, because we haven't had that much water, uh, like a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of rain, I'm just gonna save my time. I'm gonna hike in yesterday, so now I'm just gonna make my way around the lake, do a little fish, and enjoy the scenery, because it is beautiful out here. It's my first time being to this park. It is worth it, 100% is worth it. So like I said, you either gotta take a helicopter in here, or you gotta hike in, or horseback.
for so many reasons I'm glad that that's a rule because it's, it's just so smooth it's quiet right now I'm hoping I don't pop my pet rap I caught one there's actually a fish in here what <laughs> oh he's just little though oh he spit it So this is technically where um, the, the official Wapiti comes in from Tuck Lake, and this is one of the shoots. There's another one on the other side. Just did some drone footage. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I'm taking on some white caps here on Wapiti Lake. She blows up pretty good, I'll tell you. Pretty rocky on this side here, but the wind's blowing me in that direction, so I've had to kind of do some ferrying across this lake. Because I believe, that's how it looks, the start of the Wapiti's over at the far left there. But I definitely don't want to capsize the boat trying to get there. So taking her easy and trying to read this best we can and it's a lot of fun these back wraps are a lot of fun you definitely don't want to feel uncomfortable especially when you get on a boat or on the water when it's like if you're just doing lakes and stuff you know, they blow up like this we got white caps right here right now right so yeah, I'm just trying to get across here Wapiti is swollen up on me here. The wind's picking up pretty good. Just got a little ways left to go. I believe it's over there in that corner, so. That also got me back on the truck. Then I gotta scope out the river from here and see if I'm gonna run that or not. Right on course. Waves and everything's going in the same direction I want to be going. So I'm just laying back and relaxing. Putting a paddle in every once in a while, of course. This is awesome. <sighs> Definitely having a pack raft, I'd say, has it makes it a lot. It gives you way more freedom. I mean, I knew I could have, I had to drive to get in there, being that this is my first hike six or seven years and having the pack raft you know give it give me that push because I knew that I was confident enough on the water at least to get back on the lake portion so there's a good three lakes three or four lakes on this uh your trip so even if I had to portage over the the rapid part depending on how severe they are I know some of them are pretty low so I can't even paddle on them anyway that it just cuts back a lot of time and uh Back from carrying all that weight in there, but it was worth it. Like this, 
It's definitely my first, uh, the best first trip I've had in a while, like backpacking wise, right? So, if you haven't checked it out, you gotta check this one out. It's called the Wapiti Provincial Park. Um, it's through the Wapiti Indian Trail. You get it, where the cabin is, the cabin's at uh, Wapiti Lake. That's what I'm right now. Get yourself a raft on. Because you'll enjoy that much more of it. This is where the Wapiti Lake officially turns into the river. That's what we're looking at right now. Logs up here, so I'm just gonna get out and check. Okay, so I just I just walked down, left my back back raft up there. But if the water wasn't so low and I could get on this side here, I'd probably run this. But I'm, I might come around it just because I am in here alone and I don't really like the logs over there. If I catch one of them, I pretty much think that it would pop my my raft. And not to mention, I get down a little bit over here, it gets a bit more narrow with some more of a log jam. So. I think I'm just gonna walk this one. Yeah, definitely. I'm not a big fan of that right now. More experienced guy would be like, yeah. But, that's what it is. I'll go down, I'll, I'll put her right in here nice and calm. Okay, well, I successfully made it from uh, the Wapiti down to Lost Marine. This is the Lost Marine there. And uh, yeah, note for my video and anyone watching that there are some solid, ginormous boulders uh, right back here. I'm gonna turn the boat around. Right as you're coming into Lake Marine or the Lost Marine Lake there. Yeah, so your entry into the lake is, you can't see them right now, but they're right up, right up at that little turn there. Right, right there, at the entry there, there's about three or four good sized boulders you gotta <whistles> around. Thankfully the water's not moving too fast, there should be some, I guess, big hits. <laughs> All right, yeah. what's this? Oh. My wife. Oh. My buddy Robert. All right. Now I'm gonna go look at where this trail is because I think I'm running out of sunlight. I'm gonna to make some camp here. But I'm out of the park now. So alright. Good morning. Uh, I think I'm uh, back at around kilometer nine or nine and a half. And uh, it was a nice sleep last night. Right on the edge of the river. 
Here's my cozy little camp. For any of those of you that are into hammock tenting, you see it? Very nice and tight and cozy. Anyways, I think I'm gonna have some coffee. <laughs> well, I finally got out of bed. Uh, so just having some coffee, getting ready to clean up camp here. Uh, I was looking back through my videos to see where I was at. Cause on the way in I tagged all my kilometers and kind of all the nice little sites. Anyways, I'm around eight and a half kilometers. So I got about a, I guess a kilometer and a half roughly um, to the falls. So I was deciding whether I wanted to get back in the water or not. And I think if the water level was a lot higher, I probably would. Um, but given the fact that I'm feeling, I'm really feeling it in my, <laughs> my body right now, that getting in, going for a kilometer, getting out at the falls, packing up my gear, climbing a mountain just so I can get out. I still gotta walk seven kilometers uh, because if I were to go in, back in at the bottom of the falls, the distance between the trails just, and, and, and the, uh, the, the terrain, it's all uphill, all, pretty much pretty steep up there, up to the truck, so. I think I'm gonna call it here. The water level's just too low anyway. Like, I was scraping rocks all day yesterday, and you know, I got to try it, and I was really happy I did. I got to, you know, a little bit, a little bit more experience, having some fun. But uh, I think I'm gonna call it on the raft for this river for right now. I, I just think it's too low, and like I said, all the other stuff there. But uh, this is the, the beautiful view this morning. Nice. Uh, glass portion but yeah I'll probably throw in a part of the drone footage I took last night of this area and just just down here it gets really shallow and you pretty much you're gonna be walking uh, again on some of this shallow rock area here is what is what down there was so Yeah, just gonna hoof it from here. Yeah, get back on the trail and <laughs> cry. <laughs> oh, feels good though. You know, it's good. It's a good, uh, good exercise and good way to get back in it. But anyway, that's my update for now. I'm gonna be heading back to the truck today. I guess I got eight kilometers to go and then I'm out. It's been nice. Been really nice. Can't wait to see my family. So, ciao. Okay, well, definitely feeling it more coming out. I'm at five here. Still hanging in. I have to, of course. But I'm just saying. I'm past five. I know I got a lot of clothes on, but I'm also trying to slim down a little bit, maybe. Okay, so I'm so happy to announce that I made it back to kilometer zero on the Wapiti Indian Trail. I'm gonna flip the camera, I'm back. Yeah, I did it. Yeah. I'm coming up, my truck's still there, so that's pretty sweet. Okay, just, I got two big, Jugs of Gatorade in there, I'm gonna just down. <sighs> Anyways, that's it for this trip, so farewell for now. Thank you for watching.